Les Wagner. Here game three of the series coming up tonight from Pittsburgh. And welcome into our booth. Joe Block and John Wayner with you here tonight. And the Pirates looking for a strong finish. And we certainly saw one last night as the Bucks backstop was the one who dealt defeat to the Cubs yesterday. Jacob Stallings with a game winning home run. It was fun to watch. It was fun to watch. Uh, Jacob Stallings, we're always talking about his catching, the gold glove caliber catching. But last night it was the bat we were talking about. His third home run of the year and none bigger than this one. The walk off variety. With one out in the ninth inning, just inside the line, a big blast from Jacob Stallings. And you mentioned a possible gold glove. Well, his manager certainly thinks that he might be a gold glove candidate this year. A look at our Barrel Automotive League leaders, where Jacob Stallings ranks among National League catchers. And one of those stats right there, extra Ks, that's pitch framing, and that's one of the things that he's really lauded for. Yeah, he's really good at receiving the ball. He's, he's really good at working with the pitchers. Obviously, uh, you know, the inning's caught. He's out there every day pretty much uh, behind the plate. He's throwing well. Another caught stealing last night. Uh, Jacob Stallings has put together a great season. And his battery mate tonight is Trevor Williams. And, you know, he's been beaten by the long ball here lately. That's uh, been his bugaboo. But for Trevor Williams, maybe tonight, with five guys that are going to bat left-handed for the Cubs in the lineup, maybe that'll help him throw that change up a little bit more. Yeah, Trevor Williams is uh, in a little bit of a rough spot these last five starts. You look at his first five, the ERA, ERA was pretty good despite the one and four record. Uh, but the last five, boy, yeah, the long ball, um, you know, the slugging, the batting average against. Yeah, he just hasn't been able to put the ball where he needed to to get more outs. Now he'll have one final start tonight. He'll take on the shock of that. And uh, for the Cubs tonight, you see Ian Happ. He'll start things. And then Anthony Rizzo, Wilson Contreras hits third. Kyle Schwarber is the DH tonight. Three career home runs against Trevor Williams. Maven and Hayward back in the lineup. Baez hits seventh. And then Kipnis and Bodie. Still no Chris Bryant. Has that oblique injury that he suffered in the opener of this series on Monday. And Trevor Williams making his final start of the year. And really needs to finish up on a good note. Yeah, you know Trevor wants to have a good one tonight. Uh, we showed you his last five starts have not been good and um, you know, hopefully he'll have his good location get that good fastball in there get some weak and early contact. That's been when he's at his best. And Jacob Stallings with a game winning home run. Been seeing some good starting pitching for the Pirates lately. And the Honda defense, J.T. Riddle gets a start in left field. Jared Oliver is in center field in his first week in the majors. And Gregory Polanco in right. Hayes, Gonzalez, Frazier, Moran around the horn. Williams and Stallings, the battery. Off homers to start things. Then Hayes and Moran. Gregory Polanco cleans up good numbers against Hendricks. Osuna and Riddle. Gonzalez and then Stallings with that walk off last night. Jared Oliva will hit nine. And there's a lot of buzz around Kyle Hendricks. Yeah, he's a, a magician. ERA under three, six and four. 61 strikeouts in his 73 and two thirds innings for a righty that averages 87.4 miles per hour on the fastball. Well, especially these days, he's a marvel. Because of the emphasis on velocity. He's never had it. It's not like he had an injury and used to throw.